Hi, I'm David Bassanis, Chief Economist at BetaShares. This is a snapshot of my latest market trends report, which is actually going to be a year in review for 2022. Quite a tumultuous year, of course. And really, I think the theme of the year is that uh, it's the one in which central banks got serious about inflation. In 2021, inflation did pick up uh, due to excess of demand uh, coming out of COVID. Central banks looked through that initially, but in 2022, they started to worry that the longer they waited for inflation to come down, the greater the risk that it could get embedded into inflation expectations and make uh, you know make the outlook a lot lot trickier. So what we have seen is aggressive central bank interest rate increases which has hurt bond returns, but also importantly hurt equity returns as well. So toward the end of the year, we've got the um, global markets, the US market down just over 10%. Uh, they have been down lower than that, but they've obviously rebounded uh, just in the last last few weeks. The Australian market has actually held up pretty well. So as at the end of November, it was only down around 2% from, uh, from its lows. What we have seen within the equity market of areas like uh, technology and growth, which have long been popular on the back of low interest rates and low inflation, uh, underperforming long unloved areas such as energy. And energy, of course, doing well on the back of the increase in energy prices following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So it's that switch from growth to, to, to value um, within the market has helped support the, uh, the Australian market of late. Just in terms of the outlook, I mean, I think, you know, it's still going to be a tricky year in 2023. We've still got central banks looking to raise interest rates. We, we, I think we are getting to the tail end of the interest rate increases. We're also seeing inflation peaking after having risen through much of this year. So inflation is on the downside. But again, it's, uh, the, the key issue is going to be whether or not uh, in the US in particular, wages growth can come down given the very tight labour market. Because unless wages growth does slow by a lot, it's going to be hard to get overall US inflation down. So the central bank there is going to be still pretty keen on slowing the economy, potentially getting the unemployment rate up, which is going to be, yeah. again, a challenging period for equity markets next year. And it's going to be more so on the earnings front in 23. So in 22, it was valuations that took a hit and interest rates went up. 23, the challenge will be that earnings could uh, now take the hit uh, as a result of those increases in interest rates. In terms of the bond market, again, to, on the view that we are at the tail end of the central bank interest rate increases and growth is going to slow next year, they're probably going to generate some better returns than we saw in 22. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for uh, watching and I'll see you again next year.